Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Luke Sabala and I have had a busy past four years. Let me get y'all up to speed. I graduated college, started my career, then I got engaged, then we bought a house, then I started my first hospital job, we got married and lived through a global pandemic. Y'all may have heard of it. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. The coronavirus. During the pandemic, I rediscovered a love for reading and listening to books and learned a lot of new things that helped keep me sane during the pandemic, especially as a brand new nurse. The challenges of the pandemic forced me to either learn and grow or stay stagnant and regress. And I like to believe that reading all those books, somewhere around the 200 mark now, helped me grow. Then I had the thought, if all this information is useful to me, why don't I start sharing it with others? So I started sharing about the books and my thoughts on social media and got some decent feedback from my friends and family. But then one day a friend told me, he said, Luke, I see your posts on Facebook and Instagram, but I'm not a big reader. I like to listen or watch more. Can you tell me what your posts are about? And that was my light bulb moment. So I asked my wife for a camera for Christmas in 2021. She got me a camera and I discovered how much I enjoy capturing moments and sharing ideas through video. Especially the ideas I found in books. Let me give you guys a little bit of background about myself. When my family and I moved to Texas, I was in the sixth grade and I was the quietest kid in the sixth grade. I didn't really wanna to talk to anybody. I kinda of wanted to keep to myself. I was really shy. And you fast forward to the present, here we are today and I'm sharing videos on the internet with all my friends and family to see and for random strangers to find me on the internet. It's, it's kind of wild, the change that's, that's come about. But I just wanted to share with you guys a quote that's kind of kept me um, from kind of closing myself in again and stop me from sharing everything because, you know, there's a lot of times that I have doubts about sharing my message with people or sharing sharing this information that I found because I'm afraid of people to, who criticize and looking stupid online and things like that. That's thoughts that always run through my head. So this is a quote that's one of my favorites, probably my favorite quote. Um, I actually have it framed next to my desk and I actually have it framed back here in the background as well. Um, but it's my favorite quote. It's from the book, Daring Greatly. It's from the Man in the Arena speech from Theodore Roosevelt. And um, just my favorite quote when it comes to the creative habit and putting yourself out there. So let me share the quote with y'all. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. So if you guys would like to discover new books, mostly of the nonfiction and self-development variety, hit that subscribe button below. I'll be posting videos twice a month and I would love to share with y'all what I've learned. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and join me for the journey and I will see you guys in the next one.